DFL leaders in the Minnesota House say last year, areas outside the Twin Cities were left out of the legislative agenda. Today, they introduced their Greater Minnesota for All proposal. House Minority Leader Paul Thiessen was in Austin today, and he's talking about how it can help rural areas. And it has to do with infrastructure, you know, transportation dollars, broadband, and it has to do with making sure we have workforce available because the one thing I hear more than anything as I travel around greater Minnesota is the thing that's holding back our economy is the lack of workers, the lack of trained workers. Democrats are also calling for an increase in funding for local governments. Cities around Minnesota do depend on that money, but in recent years it hasn't kept pace with the cost of running cities. And cities are banding together, asking lawmakers to correct that. Here's ABC6 News reporter Dan Conrad. It's really been a, a necessary means to assure your residents that you have a decent place to live. It's called local government aid, and city budgets around Minnesota rely on it. Just over 50 percent, 51.4 percent of our budgets. So it allows outstate communities like Austin to benefit from some of that great state pie of, of tax money. It's really for the kind of meat and potatoes elements of running the city, you know, streets, street construction, police, fire, those types of things. But at a time when costs are going up, road costs have gone through the roof and those types of things, so purchasing squad cars. LGA has not, and cities around Minnesota have a message for lawmakers. We need more. Forty-five and a half million dollars is a request from the Coalition of Greater Minnesota's Cities, and that would uh, cover cities statewide. That would take us back to our 2002 levels. And that was 14 years ago. We compensate for it by el eliminating staff. We're well below 1980 levels when it comes to staffing. Combining jobs with other people uh, that are existing and trying to make it work. You know, reliance on the uh, tax levy as well, so those are pressures that we face. And that pressure is compounded in a place like Austin, where the population is growing, as is the percentage of working poor. Unemployment rate's very low at four, four and a half percent. Uh, median household income of 38,000. We got these folks are still not being, being able to uh, survive independently or stand alone. So they need social uh, costs to, to help buoy them. Dan Conrad, ABC 6 News. The Austin City Council meets in about a half an hour and is expected to approve a resolution joining the Coalition of Greater Minnesota Cities in asking lawmakers to increase their LGA.